this is we're gonna do a little bit sauteing first okay and then what we do is we're gonna make sauce and everything for our beef steak the old-fashioned way i'm making a beef steak old-fashioned way guys here we go we cut that too thin okay here we go without seasoning it of course we're gonna season our sauce to it later that's how we do it and it's our salad master it's pretty pretty quick and easy i don't have to put a lot of oil i just put some olive oil spray so you see that one guys okay and olive oil here i don't know if you guys see that here olive oil what we're gonna do is you saute that quick like a minute or so and then you're flipping each side i think i put that on high i forgot medium only on salad master guys We're gonna be a beef steak, super yummy with potato. I'm gonna do some potato or else plain. It's quick. It's quick, quick. You just do that. This is how I used to make my beef steak back home. If we have meat available. Here we go. Now I'm going to spray a little bit. Okay. And we're just gonna get same over and over and we have a lot of meat here. I got this meat from Costco So it's really fresh, but I frozen them because I couldn't cook it that day So I frozen into it and then I slice it too thin like this. See very thinly sliced Okay, we're making a Beef steak a Filipino style beef steak, you know with the sauce. We put a little olive oil here Okay guys, this is our, we're gonna make the sauce for it until it's gonna be uh, simmered. We're gonna have a sauce to simmer it until it caramelized later, but I wanna put a little bit sauce in the end. So we have two cups of water here and we have a beef bouillon here. My old Starbucks can for my seasoning. Here we go. We're gonna put a teaspoon and half. That's a beef bouillon, okay? And then black pepper. Sorry, my dog is snoring. Black pepper. Okay, like that. Onion powder. It's mata mata lang yan, guys. And we have some Chinese spice. I like the, I like the taste to it. Oopsie. Ayan. You can just do eyeball to eyeball. And we have paprika. Okay. And we have a hoisin sauce. I like hoisin sauce. That's give that sweetness to it. And also we can add a little bit of little bit of um, honey. Okay. And I have some soy sauce here. And then we have some spicy soy sauce. Okay. Right here. Okay, now we're gonna stir that. And then, so we're gonna, this one is just for simmer. We're gonna make another blend later. This is, we're gonna soften our meat. That, guys. Hey guys, let's get one of my pepper because I'm cooking. See that guys? Ayan! Fresh bell peppers from our garden here in the kitchen. 
And then guys, mayroon din tayong uh, lemongrass, right? So, uh, this is from my red uh, bell peppers too. The other day was done. So, I took it outside. So, this one is bell peppers right here, guys. Small ones. Small bell peppers, see? It's a small one. Enough for our... Um, we're making our um, beef steak. Philippine-style beef steak. Okay? So, that's when we have more. We can harvest anytime we need some. Okay? When to slice this all guys, it is for our beef steak Filipino style. Let's go. Slice. We're done slicing that guys to pieces. Okay? Yung beef steak natin. It's like Salisbury steak, right? But mine is different way. Filipino way. So, nag-thicken na yung sauce niya. We did not put any flour or cornstarch to it. It's been cooking for an hour to very low. So, I put it to low, guys. Like that. Okay? So, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cook our bell peppers in the middle. So, we're gonna get our flavoring. Okay? Just gonna put that in there. And the other stuff, I'm going to saute. I have to saute the other one. Cook it with olive oil. This one here, I'm just gonna uh, cook that there until it caramelized just a little bit. So, we're gonna combine them all after. We're just gonna cook it like that for low and for five minutes or so. Five to seven minutes usually it gets soft in this uh, video just because it's just low. So, okay, and then we're gonna combine that together. This one, I'm gonna saute that for our toppings. So, it's gonna be good and crunchy. Okay? Guys, aside from that, you know, we, we are simmering our other ingredients. Now, we're gonna put a garlic, fry garlic. Because that's what I love to put. And a fried onion. Not much, but we put olive oil first. Okay. Just a little bit of olive oil there. Now we're gonna do, uh, we're just using this spatula from our uh, other meat. Now we're gonna do is the white sweet onion, red onion, shallots. Okay. And we'll put the bell pepper later. Okay. We want that still round. Don't want it like mushy or anything like that. I want it like crunch, still crunchy. You can poke that in the middle here. <laughs> okay. We just put that in low. Low heat, okay. Let's put a little bit of seasoning here. Any seasoning you want to make it soft, a little bit soft. Okay. okay. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil because, just because, okay. just a little bit. To simmer that and taste it. I don't want to go outside. They're not knocking. We're gonna put that aside while we put our bell peppers, whatever left over from the other pot that we put. Any yeah. organic na bell peppers from our garden in the kitchen. Our bell paper grown in my own kitchen, guys. Hmm. I like sauteing that by just low. So we'll wait for that. I just use the same. I just use the same. Yes, okay. So, ayan. Pwede na natin itong i-mix, but not over-mix it because our meat is already very tender. Soft to eat, so it's easy to crumble, so we don't want to crumble our beef steak. In the Philippines, we add a little bit of cornstarch. A minute, Max. You want to go outside? So it's soft now. We cut that to thin, thinly slice, and we air fry that for two to three minutes. So, ano siya? Para walang oil. Okay. Now it's like that. Mixing, mixing. My kids want some sauce to it. So that's a little bit sauce. We can always add sauce if you want more sauce to it with your rice. It's like a gravy. Okay. So we're gonna still put that in very low, okay? It's it's a medium right now. Now I'm gonna change that to low, cause it's na yung sauce niya. Okay. Yeah, guys. 
yummy that is guys look at that it's still crunchy but it's a cook it's cooked already some onions shallots and our red and yellow bell peppers from our garden so that's already just medium oh low i put it too low see just low so enough to heat that up and crunch till not mushy that's our garnish for our beef steak Okay, and the beef steaks taste really good. Yan guys, sarap, sarap na. Yan yung beef steak sa Pinas. Ganyan talaga yung beef steak. Mat it's a thin slice. And in the Philippines, you you fry them a little bit, saute. Just fry, and then mine is I do um, uh, air fry. See, there's a little sauce to it. See, it's like gravy. Mm okay we make that really low so it doesn't overcook our meat or our ingredients oh sorry okay let's plate our beef steak guys it's super done so like that that's how we do it back home look at that it's soft and tender yeah mm -hmm. yan yung beef steak sa pinas yung toro toro nalala nyo yun guys you guys remember that toro toro from school but not much flavor to it when they do in the philippines because it's just cheap you know from toro toro so they always make uh like but we for us it's really good already then now we can make it better how they make that so yeah and then we are going to put our garnish i'm gonna have my garnish done here okay See our garnish that what we make. Okay, and we just put it like that, guys. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Ayan lang. And then we have some red, I mean yellow and red bell peppers. Just make it your own. If you want to have like a platter in the table, there you go. Just perfect like that. Mm. Ayan lang. Ayan yung beef steak natin homemade beef steak guys let's try them i always like to try them while you're looking i want to try them here we go the small piece here with bell pepper mm. ayan guys oopsie oh my God. ayan ayan guys mm. try it mm. Mm, soft Lamang tama yung alat niya. Mm, still crunchy the bell paper. So that's good. Mm. Let me try this. Mm. Ayan guys, how soft that is. Look at that. It breaks when I... It's been an hour. I simmered him for an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. This is gonna be perfect with the rice and the sauce with that. Mm. Okay, so mm -mm -mm -mm. guys, here now with the rice. Ayan, kainin na natin. Told you it's so good with the rice. Ayan, oh, look at that. Makinang kinang, diba? We didn't even put, um, uh, we did not put, um, cornstarch to it but it's just caramelized itself because it's been cooking there for an hour and it's slow um slow cook for for very low heat so it simmers all that time so it usually caramelized okay here mm. Mm. Hello. Mm. crunchy pa yung ano natin bell peppers i like some of my uh, garnish Ayan, patong natin dyan. Binisaya, yun ni Oy, nakukungit ba? Oops, inang lukso man. Mm, ayan. Mm. Mm. Sarap. I'm sure when you cook this in holidays or any occasion, family will love, promise. It's not very overpowering stuff. It's just really good combination with pepper. Very simple. But you can see what my what ingredients I put is just simple, guys. You don't have to uh, go buy anything like you know, farther store. You can have it in your own kitchen, in your own pantry. Okay, so let's eat more because I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. Lunch time here. 
Mm. And organic peppers we have. Ayan na guys. Dito na ako sa kusina para hindi na ako mag-move. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Bye. Thank you for always supporting me. Happy Meal Blog TV here saying thank you and goodbye.